Hello, I'm Dr. Leo Racis. I'm the medical director of the Center for Advanced Joint Replacement at Christiana Care Health System. I'm here to talk about minimally invasive total knee replacement and what that term actually means. Uh, I have a picture, and I think if we understand the anatomy of the knee, uh, we can understand what minimally invasive means. This is a digital photo of the uh, knee, and you can see the anatomy. This is the kneecap. These red areas are the quadriceps muscle. This is the quadriceps tendon. This is the patellar tendon. Uh, the, the incisions that we use for knee replacement go along the inner edge of the kneecap and stop at this level. That is the minimally invasive techniques. The old techniques used to go high up into the quadriceps muscle, actually splitting the muscle fibers, which caused trauma to the muscle. We do not cut the quadriceps tendon or transect it. That has never been done. Um, what was done in the first early stages of knee replacement surgery was to go further into the quadriceps muscle, but nobody ever cut the quad tendon. And again, as I mentioned, the minimally invasive techniques involve stopping at around the upper level of the kneecap, avoiding the muscle of the quadriceps to avoid any trauma to the muscle. Um, and what we do now is simply slide the kneecap to the side after we've made these, this minimal incision. I have another picture which shows the old incision that used to be used along this black line that used to go high up into the quadriceps muscle, produced more trauma or damage to the quadriceps muscle, and took longer to recover. Now with the minimally invasive techniques, we use these green uh, incisions which stop at the upper part of the kneecap. Sometimes we'll stop at this level. Sometimes we'll go into the muscle somewhat, uh, called a mid-vastus approach. Sometimes we'll avoid the muscle altogether in what's called a subvastus approach to get to the knee. But the main difference is the minimally invasive techniques stop at the upper level of the kneecap or lower, do not extend into the quadriceps muscle. And again, this is the quadriceps tendon. We do not cut the quadriceps tendon. That's never been done for knee replacement surgery. I have a model that will also show that. The model, as you can see, again, here's the kneecap. I can turn around so you can see it. The quadriceps muscle is not on this muscle. That would be the red areas right here that we saw on the digital photo. Again, the incision stops at the upper level of the kneecap. Uh, it does not extend all the way into the quadriceps muscle, which was done, again, in the early days. And once that incision is done, we can simply uh, move the kneecap to the side, which gives us access to the knee joint to do the knee replacement. And ultimately, what we want to produce is a patient uh, who has had replacement of the lost cartilage of the joint surface. Again, I always tell my patients that a knee replacement is not a removal of the joint. It is actually a resurfacing procedure. We only remove about this much of the cartilage and bone, and we put a new surface on the knee, on the end of the femur and the upper part of the tibia. You can see that the bone is still there, the ligaments are still there, the kneecap is still there. So a total knee replacement is actually a resurfacing of the knee. I hope that's been helpful in understanding minimally invasive total knee replacement. I thank you for your attention.